Welcome to a video from the Digislifestyle.com, new collection for the Code Mob Wave to look at in this video. And this is the Vangelis section, sounds inspired by Vangelis and Blade Runner. And I wanted to see if the Mod Wave could do Vangelis. So for this, I'm recording with the Mod Wave native. Uh, my Mod Wave's over there, but the Mod Wave native is easier for me to capture. But for the key controller, I'm using the Code Key Stage. Um, 49 because it's got polyphonic aftertouch so that's hooked up over midi so that polyphonic aftertouch enables you to to get sort of those effects that van gelis used on the cs80 uh, lots of vibrato and brightening of filters and things so i've incorporated that in some in into this collection so in the collection we've got 35 programs and performances and i'll just demonstrate some of the performances and uh, you heard at the beginning the Blade Runner end and the beginning titles and I'll play up with those. So we're in the alphabetical order so I'll just have a quick whiz through those. So there's a couple of extra ones that I've put in here. This one um, is called Big Chords and it's actually one that um, I heard Tony Banks using uh, Genesis on CS80 I know Van Gelis uses CS80 so much so it kind of fitted with this collection. So this is Big Chords and really you can play Big Chords on it. big sound on there. Uh, this is using dual layers. Most of these sounds use dual layers because the CS80 had um, almost like two synths in one. There's two complete synths. I've used dual layers on this. Of all the synths I've been trying to recreate and I've done PPG waves and um, analog synths like the ARP Quadra and others, this is probably the hardest synth to recreate because the, the architecture of the CS80 is pretty unique and it's got multiple filters in, band pass, high pass, low pass, multiple modulators and uh, yes, yeah, so it was quite a challenge to recreate them. So I haven't done them a whole load of them but there are some really that come directly from from Blade Runner. So the first of those is the Blade Runner ones you heard at the um, intro. This is the end sequence of Blade Runner and um, for this there's the motion sequence for doing the bass part which you can see is there and then we've got the leads a keyboard split with the, the, string, sing, the string sound So you can use that one and you can use those two layers as well. So if you want to get those layers incorporated into your own, they're included in this collection as well. Now what it needs is a third layer probably to do the brass sound. And this is the brass sound. I'll do this from the uh, key stage because of the, the after touch. Hear that poly after touch on there. If you haven't got poly after touch keyboard, I've included a mod where you with these. So you can, a lot of these where I've used poly after touch, uh, I've, you can use the mod wheel uh, to, to do that. This one is called Blade Runner Blues, from the Blade Runner Blues track, part of the sound. Anyway. It's a nice mono sound. This is the... This one, Blush Response, is the arpeggiator from Blush Response. I was really hoping that I could split this so that you could get the lead sound in the right hand and the arpeggiator in the left hand, but I could get the arpeggiator scan all the way across the keyboard going all the way up as it needs to do and still have space for the right hand. If you had a maybe a, a 69 note keyboard, you could split this, but on a 49 I couldn't. It's not exact recreation, but it's kind of the feel that you get from that, and you could use that in your own, your own track. So ideally, you'd split that there and 
just have this bit not being controlled, but I need the three octaves for the arpeggio. So included in here are some of the CS80 sounds. I did this by listening to the CS80 uh, on YouTube and the emulators trying to get it. This is got a bit more, the uh, actual CS80 obviously dry sound. I've included some reverb and changed the uh, attack slider to give you that brass sound, which I've used in other patches. <laughs> Uh, modulation using the uh, mod, uh, mod wheel on there. This is brass two. Master attack. But what I've done in the with the mod controls is allowed you to control the attack and release. So if you can put the attack slower, the release longer, and turn some more of a string sound. Check the other way, make it a sharper brass. It's up to you. So at the key stage here is controlling the um, Modwave Natives uh, controls on there. So here's another brass sound. Resonance based off the brass sound three from the CS80. Again, you can control this. And the resonance is on your bell. This is a PWM type sound. and mob wheel on that one. I love the way it tapers off at the end there. Okay, these are not necessarily from Blade Runner, but they are Vangelis, and this is Find My Way Home. It's a very typical Vangelis lead sound. It uses a bit of uh, ring modulation to get that. And we've got some strings. And this one is a high pass string. The CSH could do high pass, and Van Gels used it on the, in the background on some of the tracks on Blade Runner. Good use of Mobway's high pass filter. Now, these next things I can hear you is the John Van Gelis song, and I've split that into three sounds. So there's a split version, there's the lead, and there's the bass. So let me do the split first. should recognize that so I couldn't get the exact upper sound I really struggled to get the exact sound I wanted on that but um, so that's an approximation it's not as bright as the um, as the Vangelis version mm -hmm. 
that's a bit closer. Not exactly what I wanted, but there you go. And uh, then you've got the arpeggiator to it. Go with that. Which probably you could speed it, you could speed it up or slow it down. That simple bass. Okay, this is a big sound that reminded me of sort of the bit with the um, the blimp going overhead in the city uh, uh, in the dark and the rain. Big four layer sound that one. Lots of reverb. We've got high pass string on one layer and we've got um, sawtooth with some modulation going on it um, in the in the uh, other layer. So we hear that high pass at the top part and then the brass part. I do like that one. Um, if you want a piano, I've got a piano, analog piano. And we've got a bit of um, after touch uh, modulation on there just to make it a little bit more interesting. We've got a pitched brass sound. and a spit lead type sound. Again with poly after touch and some strings. Model on the CS8 strings. And a sawtooth, a pulse, and a square wave in a single layer. The CS80 had two layers and a sub oscillator. So. so those are the sounds. Can the Mobwave do Van Gogh's? Yes. Can it do the CS80? Yes, kind of. Um, CS80 is such an amazing synth that uh, I think, apart from a digital recreation, you find it hard to recreate on other synths. But you can... All that's of like the Deck of Dream as well, which is uh, an actual synth model on the CS80. But... I got from programming these, especially especially with the poly aftertouch, it really does add extra damage and to give you that sort of Van Gellis feel. So thanks for watching this video. All these sounds are available as a free download from digitallifestyle.com along with all the other collections, the digital collection, the analog collection, the classic synth collection, there's all sorts on there. Get them into your mob wave. If you've got any suggestions for collections or sounds you'd like to read, uh, like to hear recreated on Mobway, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll have a go at doing it, uh, like I did with the uh, Vox Humana. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.